was a night of the underdog, of the backup quarterback, and for a couple players of redemption. And we say this, I feel like every year, the Grey Cup delivering big time. Absolutely. The emotion afterwards from all of the players and a little bit of a sleepy first half, mm -hmm. if you will. But boy, did it kick up in the second half. If you're just joining us or you want to see the highlights again, you are in luck. Argos Blue Bombers, the 109th edition of the Grey Cup Mosaic Stadium in Regina, Saskatchewan. Mother Nature cooperating as well. Winnipeg looking to cement its status as a dynasty, seeking to become the first team in 42 years to three-peat. While Toronto has won each of the last six Grey Cups, it's appeared in and have never lost to the Bombers in the Grey Cup, holding a perfect 6-0 record. Well, it's 3-0 Argos midway through the first. McLeod Bethel Thompson to Andrew Harris. Remember me? Little hurdle. Got the hops. The 2019 Grey Cup MVP seeking his third consecutive Grey Cup. This time it would come against his former team. Now it's 4-0 Argos in the second. Zach Kalaros airs it out for Dalton Schoen. And he holds it in. For the completion, a few plays after that, Dakota Prukop in under center. And just like that, Winnipeg takes the lead. Both teams would later trade field goals. So when it was all said and done, Bombers up 10-7 at the break. Bringing us to the Twisted T halftime show where country music stars John Ross, Jordan Davis, and Tyler Hubbard of Florida Georgia Line combined for a spectacular performance. In the Canadian tuxedo, no less. Back to the game now. Opening drive of the third. Bethel Thompson hands it off to A.J. Olette. Argos back in front now. 14 to 10. The two-time defending champs. The Bombers not going away. Ensuing drive now. It's Prukop back in at quarterback. And again, he hits Pater. The Bombers back in front, 17-14. And they were looking for more on the very first play of the fourth quarter. Maybe the Argos are going to need to create one of those turnovers. They created more than any team in the league in the regular season. They may need to create another one. But we got a football game going into the fourth. We do, and it's in the hands. Look out. Here we go again. Can he do it? Touchdown in the Western Final. The CFL's top returner has won in the Grey Cup. Touchdown, Winnipeg. Wow. And we have fireworks, courtesy Janarian Grant. A 102-yard touchdown, the longest punt return in Grey Cup history. League-leading fourth punt return touchdown of the season for Grant. His second in as many weeks. Winnipeg looking good, extending that lead. It's 23-14. to I know who's not happy about that. Next drive for the Argos. Bad news as Bethel Thompson hits his throwing hand on the follow-through. Doesn't look good. Suffering an injury on the play. So, Chad Kelly, you're up facing second and 15, and I'm going to use my legs. Scrambling and gets the first down. 20-yard run, moves the chains. What a massive moment that was for the Boatman. So, moments later now, it's Olette fighting his way in for the touchdown. Toronto would convert the extra point to take a one-point lead. Over the middle, intercepted Argos. Enoch Mwamba has it. And cue the defense now. Enoch Mwamba comes up with that football. Moments later, Toronto looking to extend the lead to four with a field goal, but no, it is blocked. The Bombers, another chance to regain the lead. So it's up to Kolaros once again, facing third and long. He needs a first down to extend the drive. On the move, but he is brought down. But hang on, this one called back for a face mask. It's Robbie Smith. The Bombers, one last shot to win it. Academic, if he makes it, Winnipeg will take the lead. No, partially blocked as well. It rolls down. A block and then a block. You get a block. You get a block. Remember Robbie Smith? He took that face mask penalty to extend the Bombers' drive. Well, he blocks the field goal as the Argos 
win their 18th Grey Cup, knocking off the back-to-back -back champs in an instant classic and one we won't soon forget. So the Argos, they just don't lose in the Grey Cup game, at least lately. Now 7-0 in their last seven Grey Cup appearances. That is a CFL record. The last time the Argos lost in the big game, well, that was back in 1987. Lost to Edmonton. The Argos are now 7-0 against the Blue Bombers in Grey Cup games. Something about lucky number seven.